So today is video number three in the series and it's all to do with how you create and manage layers within your models. Um, and I'll show you why this is really important and the benefits that this has. Let's get to it. Okay, so today's video is all about layers and why these are important. So we'll use the same model as in the previous videos in this series. It's my very rough and ready band layout that I've started to put together. And let's say what we want to do is move this gas heater around, or let's say we want to reposition and rotate it. Because there's quite a lot going on in this model, that can be quite difficult to do. Um, because obviously from this side we can't even see the gas heater so we need to rotate around here we can get in um, and do that let's say we wanted to move it in front of the water heater here it's actually very difficult to do that and see where everything is because we've got this cladding here blocking it we've got the pull out bed here blocking it from the top um, so what we want to do is hide a lot of the things that we don't want to see we don't want to delete them from the model we just want to hide them uh, and make them not visible so there's a few ways you can do that um, in previous episodes i'd showed you the hide and show tool so let's say oh, let's get rid of these cushions they're in the way you can select the item click hide and that's got rid of that let's get rid of these um, yeah it's the same here we'll press the control button select more than Select a few things at once. We'll so select some of this bed. Right click, hide. Uh, so that's one way to do it. But then what happens when we want to turn those back on? Well, they're hidden. So to turn them back on, we can go edit, unhide. We don't have much control about what we then show. We can either um, unhide the last. So that was that big chunk. But what if we just wanted to unhide the cushions or we just wanted to unhide the sliding bed mechanism? We don't have that option. So just rehide those. Let's say we hit the kitchen cabinet as well. Hide. The other option was unhide all. And that just turns everything back on. So that's not actually that useful. So this is where layers come in, come into play and become extremely useful. Um, let me just hide that construction line because that's annoying. So first of all, how do we access the layer tool? Well, we need to go into window, go into default tray, and make sure that we've got layers ticked. And then, so this is your default tray over here. So you can see I've only got two items to tick. That's entity info and layers. Um, you might have all sorts of other things ticked, but just for clarity in this video, they're the two things that we need. So I've got those two turned on. Now you can see over here that I've got a whole number of layers uh, created. Um, so let's just have a bit of a play with some of the ones that I've already created. So this here is my kitchen unit. I've got that on its own separate layer. So when we click on an item in the entity info, it will tell us what layer it's on and the name of the part. And then in this layers tray down here, this is how we control the different layers within the model. So 
as we can tell from here, I've got a layer called kitchen unit. So let's scroll down, find that one. These are all in alphabetical order. You can change how they're sorted by clicking on that tab there. So click name and they'll all come into uh, alphabetical order. So let's find kitchen unit. And there's a few options here for things you can do. You've got this visibility column here, and then you've got this also tick box here. Now the visibility is what controls turning it on and off. So kitchen unit, simply untick that and it disappears. It's not deleted from the model, it's just hidden because we've cleared the tick in the visibility layer. This other uh, tick box is the it's how you control what's your current layer. So uh, the reason that's important, because then if we go to sketch something else, so let's say I want to start sketching my gas hob on here. Um, let me give that some thickness. Let's maybe make it look a bit more realistic. Let's add a couple of rings on that hob. Okay. So yeah, just going back to the layers and the current layer. So I've got, because I've got the kitchen unit um, selected there, the hob has automatically been created as part of the kitchen unit layer tab. So that's useful because it's where we want it to be and so that when we turn um, the layer off it's already where it needs to be and we can get rid of it all in one go now you notice that um, i tried to hide that layer then with it selected as the current layer and it didn't let me do it you cannot hide the current layer so to solve that you just need to make one of the other layers current and then you can hide it. Okay, so let's turn off a few other things. We're interested in the gas heater, which is down there. So let's turn bed frame at the back off. Let's get rid of the fridge and the frame around the fridge. Um, these are all cushions, they're not relevant. Let's get rid of that. Okay, so we're getting somewhere now. We can start to see the heater. We've got a few more bits that we want to turn off. So what layer is this on? This is on bench sliding flat. So let's turn those off. These are the bench static slats. Let's get rid of them. We've then got all this cladding on the front of the bench on the layer bench cladding rid of that and there we go we're really starting to be able to see what we want to be able to see um, and that just enables us to do whatever we want to do without having to delete anything without having to hide everything in one go um, just makes our life a lot easier and easier to control what we what we see so let's say we're gonna Slot that in there next to the water heater. Anyway, you get the point. Um, so how do we create um, and even delete layers? So really simple. Um, in this layer tray over here, you'll see the plus and the minus. Let's say we didn't already have a layer for our gas heater and our water heater. We're currently on water and gas. So let's, let's say we want to separate those out onto their own heating layer. We just hit the plus sign, creates a new layer. Let's type in what we want to call it, heating. I click outside of that. Then we can select the components we want using control and select tells us what current layer we're on up here we can then change that to heating um, we can just click anywhere 
outside of the model, and then we are able to turn those elements on and off. If um, you've created a layer that you no longer need, um, for example, if we go back to water and gas, uh, so we wanted to delete that layer. As you see, there's some bits on it that shouldn't be, all that should really be on that layer is the water tank, but anyway. And to delete that layer, we just simply hit the minus, select it in the tray, and then hit the minus button. Um, if there are things on that layer, you'll then get an option of what you want to do. So layers to be deleted are not empty. Choose what you want to do with the content. So you can move it to the default layer, move it to the current layer, or move it to or delete the content. So default layer default layer is going to be layer zero the current layer is the one that we've got selected to get put on the fourth seat which is that seat there um, so let's just put it on the default layer so we were gonna delete that put it on the default layer okay no problem um, and yeah, when you want to re-show or unhide all the things that you've turned off, it's just reverse the process, really simple. Go down into your layers tray. Let's turn, turn bench cladding back on. Sliding slat, static slats, turn the cushions back on. You get the idea. Thanks for watching. If you did find that video useful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already and hit the bell as well so you don't miss out the future videos in this little mini series. Um, so yeah, thanks again for watching and stay tuned for more content.